back to another video in today's video we're going to be doing a set of nails based around this gorgeous pack of crystals from crystal parade called the swarovski and preciosa anti-valentines mix you can get five percent off this using my code nat5 there's some dark blues reds blacks and like black diamond colors in there so the colors of the gel polishes i've chosen are based around those colors but the crystals that i've crystals the glitter that i chose initially was icicle and the iridescent hearts the iridescent hearts aren't available on the website anymore um you can use 10 you can use my code natmug10 to get 10 percent off the nail sugar bits and bobs um yeah i'll explain more about that in a minute um mahalo roundup perfect white rosy nude and sunset in florida are the gel polish colors that i've chosen from madam glam you can get 30 percent off using my code natmug30 i felt like they all went really well apart from i do change up icicle this is the set of nails that i was inspired by um this is by top line nails and spa i thought we'd do a bit of a recreation it is pretty much a recreation <laughs> so i've done two coats of rosy nude then um they need uh madame glam gel polishes need 30 seconds in an led lamp oh i feel like i've got some gas coming up pardon me i've just had a big gulp of it's like supermarket sprite and it's clearly repeated on me i'm so sorry if you heard that disgusting uh, right, I am going to go ahead now using the Perfect White Gel Polish and I am drawing on my Smile Line. Now when I do the Smile Line, the Smile Line I will draw on with a detailer brush and then I will fill in a little bit of the white around the Smile Line. But the rest of the nail, like the free edge area, I will fill that in with the brush from the bottle just because it's just a lot quicker than doing the whole thing with my... There we go, look and it's done in seconds like if i'd have used my detailer brush it would have taken me ages <laughs> i'm just going to kind of level it all out and leave it to settle and then i'll pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and i will do the same on um two more of those nails um this is base coat putting a little bit on our palette and we're using the madam glam application brush which is like a, an oval gel brush and I'm going to grab these iridescent hearts. I didn't realise until yesterday. They're not on the website anymore. They're, they're one of the ones... I, I, I did know, but I'd forgotten. Um, I loved these so much that I decided that I had to keep them. <laughs> and then I decided to go with Blew Me Away. Because it was blue and it matched the... I thought I felt like it went with the crystals. But look, when you do... Look at them in the light. Oh, they're so nice. I don't think you got the full effect then. Because I didn't do it quick enough. But I'm putting a little bit of base coat onto my nail. And then I'm just taking some of those smaller bits of the Blew Me Away confetti glitter and I'm just placing them onto the nail. I literally only want a few of these tiny little bits and then I'm also going to take some of the iridescent hearts and place them into that uncured base coat. And I, I probably will have a good faff but I kind of sprinkle the hearts and the glitter until they're kind of like separated i, d I don't know i'm rubbish at explaining <laughs> once i've done that yeah as i said before i'll do the same thing on two of the other nails and then what i've done here is i've cured these and now i'm going over again with some base coat just to smooth out the hearts and the glitter and again, the base coat needs 30 seconds in the LED lamp. Then I am removing the tacky layer. Because it's, yeah, I find it's, yeah, there is a reason, but it's too long to explain. That's <laughs> so terrible. On my palette, I'm putting a little bit of each of those three colours that we chose. So the two blues and the red. And then using my dotting tool i'm going to create three hearts on each nail there's going to be a bigger heart a medium heart and a smaller heart and each of the three hearts on the nails are going to be three of the different colors so this i've got to try and explain this right this bigger heart i think it's the darker blue have i yeah i've used the darker blue for the big heart on this one and then i will 
I don't know which color I choose next, but say I go with the lighter blue for the medium and the red for the small one. And then the next nail along, I'll use all three different colors, but the medium heart won't be dark blue. The medium heart will be dark blue. And then the one underneath, do you see what I mean? I'm kind of alternating the colors with the sizes. So that's the, that's the dark, the dark blue on the first nail is gonna be the big heart. Then the dark blue on the second heart will be the medium heart. I'm pretty sure I'm explaining this okay. See, I've done a medium heart with the dark blue. Like so. <laughs> I'm such a super faffa. Super faff. There we go. And then this last one, the small heart at the bottom will be the dark blue on this nail so and and it's the same thing with with all of them the bigger heart will be at the top and then the other two will taper down like the stiletto tip tapers down there we go so we've got three three hearts uh then we're gonna where have i gone there she is right wipe off your dotting tool and start again using the other colors where have i gone Hello, come back. <laughs> Sorry, skip forward for a minute. I obviously didn't edit that bit out by accident. Yeah, then I've, I've taken a big dotting tool as well. And I'm just going to start the medium heart on this one will be red. So the small heart on the next one will be red. And then the big heart on the one after that will be red. Just, yeah, there we go. And I've done the same with the other blue. <laughs> My goodness, what a to-do. This is the velvet matte top coat. We're going to cover all the nails in velvet matte because I'm a matte person. Then using the gel paint and a dotting tool, I'm just going to put two little dots on the nail. And then using my detailer brush, you don't have to put extra product on your brush because you want a nice thin line. Just use the product that's in the dot. You're going to create two lines coming from the top and the bottom, two lines coming from out the sides. And then you're going to do four little diagonal, four smaller diagonal. So it looks a bit like a lens flare. That came out funny. Lens flare. Can, do you see what I mean? And because the gel paint doesn't have a tacky layer, you can use it on a top coated nail and not have to worry about top coating again over your gel paint because it's not tacky. Other brands will have tacky layers. Madame Glam's does not. I'm also adding a little bit of, of light to the heart. So where the light would hit the heart, I put like a white line. I don't know why. There we go. So that will go in the lamp now to cure for 60 seconds. And then we're going to move on to the crystals, which is takes up a quite a proportion of the video, I think. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I'm using the Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix and my Crystal Katana from Crystal Parade. You can get 5% off using my code NAT5. Did I tell you that at the beginning? I think I did. I'm going to use some of the flat back crystals that's in this crystal mix. And at the top, a bit like I done with the hearts, I've alternated the colour of the crystals. Like this one is black diamond, red and blue. And then the other ones might be red, blue, black diamond. And then, do you, do you see what I mean? And then the two at the sides, I've, yeah. And then I decided to put caviar beads in between. There we go. So we've got our crystal cuff. That's going to be in the lamp for 60 seconds. So that's where we've started and then the next nail is going to be a little bit more tricky because we're actually i'm actually going to use some of these massive crystals i'm not so confident using the big crystals however i do love a crystal cluster so i've put some gem glue on the nail and placed that big pointy backed navette crystal where i want it and then i'm i'm holding it to cure it because it's it's big it will just fall off the nail if, by the time you get that in the lamp it will just fall off um the same with that i've put another one up against that one can you see what i've done um and then once you have kind of um what's the word flash cured it you want to make sure you give it a full cure i put a blob there because i want one of the black pointy backs one of the round black pointy backs um 
yeah oh it's so difficult to explain i feel like i don't have enough time at the very top there i'm going to put one of the dark blue pointy back hearts because at the moment all of our crystals are black and we want to see those other colors from the crystal mix where you've got some gaps and gem glue poking out you can just fill it in with caviar beads i am using silver caviar beads i had to think about that <laughs> I've put, there we go, right, so we're going to do here, we're going to put a black crystal and uh, another heart, but this time we're going to use one of the red hearts. So we've basically got the same thing either side, it's kind of almost symmetrical, is that the right word? And again, just any gaps, you can just fill them with gem glue and then tap the caviar beads on. It just kind of fills in the space and it stops things getting what's the word hooked i don't know what the word is okay so then just to finish this off i decided to do some lines of crystals coming out from the top and the bottom i'm gonna add some caviar beads in between the crystals i feel like the caviar beads just give the design a little bit more definition and uh, it sort of packs it out a little bit more is that the right word packs it out i'm gonna pop that in the lamp and then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom with the crystals and the caviar beads, just a line. There we go. And then this bit here you can fill in with caviar beads, which I will do. And uh, then we are wiping the crystals over with some isopropyl alcohol. This just gets off any like fingerprints or any wax residue if you're using a wax pencil, something like that. It just makes them look a lot more sparkly. Can you see what I mean? Oh my gosh. I know they're black crystals, but you can still see the facets shining like a shiny thing. <laughs> oh, and that little bit of gem glue there, you can just cover that up with some velvet matte top coat. I don't bother. But this is them finished. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Websites and discount codes will be below. Um, I think that's it. Have an amazing weekend. I'm really excited about Monday's video. Oh! I love it so much. I can't wait to show you. But anyway, God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.